Hi, I'm Jane Smith from The Compassion Project, and today I want to share with you the most impactful lesson I learned from Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle is incredible. He wrote a book called A New Earth, and that was my first glimpse into personal growth, and I read it about 12 years ago. And it's all about living in the present moment and becoming aware of how you think. And at the time, I was not aware at all of how I was thinking. I just thought I was all one, my thoughts, myself, and I wasn't able to be very present in the moment. So I just wanna share a little bit of a story of when something clicked with me. I was reading his book, and at the time, uh, one of my daughters was a teenager and she was going through a really difficult time. She had, a, an issue with a friend that had hurt her and she was really upset. And I was in my bathroom, I was drying my hair and for some reason, when I dry my hair, my mind just goes to all the problems. It's like I can solve the world in my brain. I'm never present, but I, I would just dry my hair and think. And when something was hurt, hurting one of my daughters, it would upset me. So this one day I was reading Eckhart's book while I was drying my hair, I was trying to like read it, but my mind was wandering to what I would say to this girl that hurt my daughter if I ever ran into her. I was, I wanted to, I was imagining like, oh, I was so upset, like how dare you hurt my daughter, what you said, you know, it's so awful and I wanted to, so I would pick, I'd be drying my hair and I'd be thinking, of when I run into this girl and what I could say and, and how I could make it better for my daughter. It overwhelmed me and it, obviously it caused so much stress. So I'm reading this book of Eckhart's, A New Earth, this one section, and he said that he, it basically, he was talking right to me because he said, sometimes we're so lost in our brains and our thoughts that we are creating this very stressful situation and we're imagining these things, but everything's super peaceful where we are. And he said, if you can actually be present and look around, there's no stress where you are. And I had this little moment of like, I was reading and I thought, I've been so like stressed thinking about the situation, my daughter, my whole body felt anxious and upset. And I thought, I read that and I stopped. I remember stopping, I remember this bathroom I was in, in in a different home, I just remember it. And I looked around my bedroom and I thought, it's so quiet here. My little dog Chase at the time, this beautiful little Pomeranian dog I had, he was licking his paws on my bed. It was a beautiful day outside. I was by myself in the bathroom. It was peaceful and wonderful and it kind of, hit me really hard that I sat there and looked around and I thought, oh, Eckhart Tolle's right. It's so peaceful here. And I'm causing all this stress about worrying about something that might never happen. I might never run into her friend. And actually, I never did. He even said that in the book. You can imagine a situation that you're going to solve and do one day when I run into this person and you might never run into them. And you're wasting all this imagination, creating these scenes in your mind that'll never happen. And it didn't. And it really caught me off guard. It was my first glimpse of awareness. And it was so powerful, I have never forgotten it. And so now I really practice on catching my thoughts. And if there's ever a, a feeling inside of me, and you know when you feel upset that you're, you're thinking thoughts that are are anxious or ahead of you. And you bring yourself back, you look around and, and see where you are in the present moment and you take a few deep breaths and you bring yourself to the moment and you think everything's fine here. It's just my thoughts causing problems. And so Eckhart Tolle is the number one person to teach me about awareness and living in the present moment. And so I really advise getting his book, A New Earth. I listen to the CDs in my car over and over and over. And there's so much more to learn from him, but super powerful. Thank you for listening. Have an amazing day. Bye.